the whole nine, right? And every plant was beautiful. Everything was perfect, right? So let there be light, it was there. But in this garden, yes, he had two trees. Please, the tree of life, right? Mm -hmm. Tree of life here, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ooh. And in that, he created man. It's a beautiful thing, beautiful story. And here's the thing, you know a lot of times, men are always, we're always looking for relationships. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. He gave us an opportunity. And here's the thing, we make one move, he's made the move, he created us. We made the move, we either follow him, or we reject him. And so instead of obeying him, we disobeyed him, right? Mm -hmm. And we ate of the tree. Mm -hmm. And when we ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, at that moment, that same fellowship was disconnected now. Through what? Through sin. Sin, now we have a stony heart. Now we have a heart that pursues our own interests. In fact, everyone, if you're always told, remember growing up, they say, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you can be this, you can be that. Guess what? God has always called us to be in fellowship with him, but now we have sin and it's broken away. And now we have a situation where we only pursue what we please, what we want. So now we're born, right? And we think it's all about us. When in fact, it was always supposed to be us together with Christ, us together with God in union, but that was lost. And now we have sin and that is our real main issue. So here's what happens with humanity. Humanity rises and falls, right? Kingdoms come, they go. And basically the world is turning out to be full of a bunch of sinners, a bunch of people that pursue their own interests and don't pursue God at all. So what was lost here, they're trying to find it in something that they can never get back through a life of sin, a life of pleasure for themselves. But here's our issue is our sin. That disconnects us from God. And so you ask yourself, well, I'm okay with myself. I'm okay with how I do things. Here's the problem. Men that came out on the news, all we see is atrocities, evil, people being destroyed, the whole night. We're born and we kill each other. We're born and we kill each other. The perpetual cycle of sin happens. But the Bible clearly says this will happen if you're in disconnection or disfellowship with God, with your creator. So as we are born, we think, hey, we're supposed to live for ourselves. Pursue your heart, pursue your dreams. But the reality is we were always created to be connected to our creator. So here's the situation. You may tell yourself, you know what? I'm a good person. I'll ask you a question. Douglas, you consider yourself a really good person? Play games about it. We have to tell the straight truth and nothing but the truth. God wants us to operate in freedom. He says that the, where the spirit is, there's liberty. There should be no, oh man, I'm a robot and I have to do this again. I'm telling you right now, when I shared that with you with my bishop, my own mentor, he had filled with the Holy Spirit, baptized. He said he was smoking a pack a day. He threw it down at the altar, never smoked again. Wow. There's people who have snorted lines and lines of coke. Broken, the power of sin was broken. That's how powerful this was. That's what the power of Christ does. It breaks the very thing that pulls us. No longer are you a slave to sin, you become a slave to righteousness. You become slave to right living, only through the power of Christ, only through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why Torben, and that's why the group right now, we have a bunch of baptism pools.
Thank you. 